morning, High Tides. Hope you had a great testing day this past week. Thanks to all our teachers and faculty for the smooth testing day. Sometimes our morning does not start out smoothly, and sometimes we run into trouble in our school parking lot. Hey, High Tides. So what's up with the parking passes? Why is everyone taking my spot? Who's taking my spot? You're the one taking my spot. I know it's you. It's because my spot is better than yours, and I know it is. You know, I almost got into a fight about my spot. Well, if you don't have a decal yet, here's how you can get one. You have to go ahead and get a form from the office to apply for the parking pass. You could also get one straight from the treasurer. On that paper, it's going to go ahead and have you come up with a copy of your driver's license, registrations, and proof of policy, which your name has to be on. You also need the, your name, ID, the parking number that you intend to get, the brand of your car, and the model. Of course, the color as well. You'll go ahead and get your parents' signature, yours, and the dates. Then it's just 30 bucks. After that, they'll go ahead and get you one. Once you get a spot, you're going to go ahead and have to abide by all the rules. First of all, you have to go 5 miles an hour in the parking lot, and you could only park in your assigned spot. You also have to maintain a 2.0 GPA to keep the spot and have less than five unexcused absences. We may have trouble in the parking lot or we may get into an accident or we may oversleep. This all brings us to the Tardy Center. All right guys, it's Javier Aliaga. We're here today at the Tardy Center here at Beach High. We're gonna be confronting the students here and ask why are they late to school? Remember kids, don't be late to school. Kevin. You just got out of the Tardy Center? Yes, sir. All right, so we're doing a piece for Beach Film News regarding the Tardy Center. Why were you late? Because I woke up late. Do you not have an alarm clock? I do, but I overslept. Like, the alarm clock didn't wake me up. Is the alarm low, or is that dumb to not put it high when you no, go to school? No, usually when it goes off, I just turn it off and I go back to sleep. Now, no ID um, and no school shirt. All right, so we're here at the Tardy Center. I'm here with Kevin. He does not know how to use an alarm clock. He only has one alarm clock. For me, what I do is I actually have multiple alarm clocks. I wake up at 5.30, my next alarm clock is at 5.40, next one is 5.50. I actually put responsibility and everything on the suit to make sure I go to school. I, so what are you gonna do tonight? Tonight, not set my alarm clock. Not no, set your alarm okay, clock? I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna set it up. At 5.50 and 6. All right, thank you. Oh. Okay, Kevin, What's got Javi in? All right. So you obviously saw us earlier filming. Yeah. We're confronting everybody who is leaving the Tardy Center. Mm -hmm. Why were you late? To be honest, I just missed the bus, man. You missed the bus? Yeah. Well, how'd you miss the bus? I was taking a duty. <laughs> All right, thank you for your time. Thanks, bro. Let's go confront Fidel for being late. All right, Fidel, why were you late today? Why were you late? I missed my bus. Why, why did you miss your bus? I'm a d But for these people, oh, like specifics. Oh, this is for school? Yeah, for sp specifics. All right, so um, I woke up late. You know, I stayed up doing my homework, my AP Human Geo homework. And then afterwards, I just woke up late. I had to call Uber here. How much was the Uber? $5. $5? Yeah. Would you rather be spending $5 or take a free ride over here? Take a free ride here. So next time, are you going to come late? I try not to. You try not to? Yeah. I'll make sure I Do you care about your education or not? Yes, it's, sir. For me, it seems like you don't care about your education. No, I care so about it. I care about it. I was doing my AP humor. Human geo work. Humor? Oh. Is no. this humorous to you? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of humorous. I'm not going to lie. Get to class. Let me see this violation. Disgusting. What's this? What's under this, sir? Oh, a black shirt, huh? Oh, black shirt. I think he needs a uniform. All right, thoughts? All right look, just what turn, are your just turn this way. Just turn this way. Yeah. No, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Uh -huh. Let go, David, David, move. <laughs> thoughts on kids coming late to school? They need to wake up early. They need to wake up early. All right, folks, remember, kids have to wake up early. <laughs> hey, by all means, come on back to learn. I don't like learning. You think I care about my education? Yes, you do. I don't. My parents do, but I don't. Hi, Tides. Try to get to school on time, even if you have to wake up a little earlier. You never know what's ahead of you. Hi, Tides. You may know Mr. Virgin. Mr. Virgin has been teaching art here for many years now. Let's see what's ahead for him. What's my name? Gosh. 
The name everyone calls me? Virgin. I started teaching here in 1995, and I taught until 99, then I went to middle school and taught in middle school for a year, and then I went to Hialeah, and I was in exile in Hialeah for 12 years where I taught computer art. And I've been back here since, I think, 2012, but honestly, I don't remember before teaching at Beach. I just told you that. <laughs> I mean, before teaching in general. I, I've pretty much been teaching my whole life, but I didn't really know that. Mm -hmm. My ex-wife and my mom said, well, you should be an art teacher. So I was a carpenter. I washed dishes. I moved furniture. I built roof trusses. I took care of plants. I was a gardener. I was a spray guy. I moved computers for IBM. Uh, lots of things. I've always loved art, but I didn't take art in high school. In eighth grade, someone pissed me off, and I didn't take art. I don't even remember who the teacher was, but I, I didn't take any art in high school, and I went to college. And I would have liked to take an art, but my parents said, you can't do that, you won't make any money. When I worked here the first time, I was the yearbook sponsor. And when the seniors went to Grad Bash, like my fourth year here, or third year here, I walked into the auditorium to go to Grad Bash. And back then, everybody had to be dressed. You had to wear a tie, you had to wear a shirt with buttons, and you had to wear shoes. And I walked into the auditorium in Camp Bichai, and the seniors gave me a standing ovation for having shoes, a shirt, with buttons, and a tie. And that was very fun. Learned anything from your time teaching at Beach, what would that be? That you guys teach me more than I teach you. Uh, when are you officially scheduled to retire? That's a question that's been up in the air for some time. The Social Security Department says 66 is full retirement. I'll be 66 in April. If it goes by January, I may run out the door January 1st, but more likely I'll finish the school year. Now I have two letterpress uh, antique presses, and I've been printing for the community, the school, artists, book fairs, and other people, and I'll continue to print. In some ways, it hasn't changed at all, because the kids at Beach are kind of like from another planet. You guys are like the UN with no translators. Except for you translate each other so well, and you're so kind to each other, that as a group, the kids at Beach are some of the most incredible kids I've ever known. <laughs> it's great when our teachers have passion for what they do. Speaking of doing, there's something you should not do. Jewel. High Tide, seriously, do not be a fool. Be cool. Don't jewel. All right, Beach Film News, that's all we have for two. Hey, what are you guys doing? Nothing. Hey, right? Nothing. Are you guys smoking in school? No. no. Yo, you know nicotine is super addictive and be causing a bunch of lung diseases. Actually? For real? What? No way. That's no crazy. cap. Uh, <laughs> yo. Who wants to hit my Kuvi? Yo. Oh, Jules yo, kill you. Yo, no, yo, yo, man, what you doing, bro? Cool. Yo, oh, take it off. Take it off. No. Oh, come on. Let's see a sign, man. Get out of here. Don't smoke in school. Do <laughs> Jeweling has taken the world by storm since they gained rapid popularity in 2015. Jewels were meant to be an alternative to smoking for adults, but instead it became a huge problem for young teens in America. Jewels are now actively being directed towards kids and are enticing flavors and nicotine. Although most assume that jewels are harmless, that's very far from the truth. As many statistics, stories, and events have shown, that is not the case. What do you think about jeweling, man? No. Yo, what are your thoughts about jeweling? It's not okay. <laughs> hey, what do you think?
anything about dueling. Oh my god, no, not again. It's terrible. It's terrible. Don't do it. Even though dueling can seem like a fun and harmless activity, the negatives outweigh the positives. If someone offers you a hit, just remember all the havoc that it can wreak on your life. And remember guys, stay cool and don't duel.